Yeah, one of the biggest softball, one of the biggest softball sins is egging after an egg. You better believe it. Yep. We got Brock Frenzel stepping up. Another guy that had a fantastic season. Keep him off the roof, Billy. <laughs> it's still unlimited base hits. Yep. It's still unlimited base hits. Body. Right. Good or night. Orlando's a big guy. If, you, if you've never met him or stood <laughs> next to Orlando. <laughs> he is well put together, Built folks. Built like a house. The dude has never seen a dumbbell he can't lift. <laughs> Former minor league ball. And he's, yeah, for the Cardinals. Yep. I tell him all the time, I said, dude, you could sell a ketchup flavored lollipop to an old lady in white <laughs> He really could. Snow to the Eskimos, you know, it's, it's crazy. So many sponsors look at hustle. Because if you're a guy that's just hit lackadaisical, hitting the ball, going through the motions, and you're not hustling, like, they, you, I can't tell you how many times sponsors have, a, have approached myself and others that hustle and just they appreciate it. Little thing. But in all seriousness, these umpires, man, these Phenomenal dudes do a great job. job. Phenomenal job. And they take an absolute beating. <laughs> if you've never umpired before, go umpire your league night, and it's 10 times worse on these weeks. I'm telling him, I say, listen, You've been doing a great job since you came in. Just work. I, tell our guy, I told our guy John when I went there one time, I said, John, you're doing great. Just work ahead. Work ahead. See what happens. Make, the, make him beat us with the bat. Don't let him beat us by walking to first base. Let him hit it and see what happens. Let's see if the balls are on, okay? Yeah, it's good. Balls are good. Let's balls are good. There the balls, are balls are plenty good. We've been seeing. W makes a great softball. Home runs galore. Can't carry those over either. I know people have tried. Ball oh. down the right field line. That's fair. And all the way down to the corner. And big Jimmy Ward heading in for a nice little double here. All the muscles. Oh. Hey, what? I've never seen a bull run this live and close in person. And big Jimmy Ward, look at him, down to the right field corner. Well, Mike, we're talking about, as we head back here at Space Coast Stadium, we're talking about the games later tonight and how we're going to see drastically different scores, even from what we saw just a couple hours ago. Yeah. And anything played between 12 and 4 or 5, it's not going to be that high scoring. But after after 5 o'clock and the sun goes down, starts to settle in, the ball starts flying a little different, that Space Coast. But what, what's your BP approach when you're out there doing, you know, practicing? BP, well, first thing we're going to do, we're going to hit. We're going to get some trash cans, some cones out there. We're going to hit 20 to 25 balls in a 3-4 hole, 25 balls in right center. We're going to hit 20 balls uh, glove side of the pitcher, 20 balls hand side of the pitcher. Then we're going to line up in left center. We're going to go 25 balls in left center. 25 balls through the 5-6, 20 balls down left field line. Then once all that is complete, we'll take about 15 to 20 swings of just seeing who can hit it the furthest. Having some fun. Big. Now it's a fly ball and it gets underneath the ball a little bit, lifts it out to left. Left fielder's running in. Oh, it's oh. falls short. The wind got a hold of it and just killed it. Two runs are going to come in. As Tim Barnes would say, that's why we're running. I will tell you this, if KJ does throw it flat inside, he will yank it in that 5-6 hole. Just, just like mean, that. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Zach Ross, ladies and gentlemen, just uh, he knows it. Runners first and second now. Yeah, so if you watch their defense here, right, for MPT, so you got Bama playing backside, you got Ben Dunn also playing in that right center gap. They're forcing these guys to try to pull this ball into the wind because that's what they want. Big Don Walsh looking to bring a little Ooh, that's a and fair what a ball beauty down the, down the left field line, paying it like he's working for Sherwin Williams. That's going to score three with a nice triple by the first baseman here for MPT. On first, the Don. Look, the look Don three, down the third baseline that. again into the corner. Bama's going to score easy all the way around from first. And look at the Don heading in for a triple. He's standing up. He's taking off his hair, and he's giving himself a little bit of look at this lettuce. Brandon, you've played a lot in uh, in majors in the past and what have you. How valuable are lefties in this Oh, my. The, even ever since Disney, lefties has been the best hitters in the game on the big fields. Drives one out to right field for a single right in front of Yates there. My hairline just keeps going back in these World Series get Shout out to Jason Matuzic, who's the hairline did that at 25. Yeah. <laughs> it's a talk. I, I want to. I want to come to Canada. You know, I want to go to that pill. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure about you coming to Canada, but we can talk about it. Still, how humid is it down here? Oh. I might lose a few pounds. Yeah, what are you at right now? Slim 245. Okay, what about with both feet on the scale? What are we at? <laughs> we don't do that. We do that in Georgia. We just 
Still, boy, I was 278 coming down here, boy. That's <laughs> right. What the? My quads are burning watching him on the mound. Nice little swing out into shallow right. Oh, and look at that. Honeycutt looking to grab an extra bag, and he sure does. Sign him up for Publix because he's going to bag all your groceries quickly and get you right to the car. It's always fun just to watch a bomb. It is. I mean, that's what people are here to see. They're not here to see no hitters. Oh, down the right field line by Honeycutt. Beauty swing, painting it. Heading into two, little Cadillac there. Not catching any fly ball. There is nothing right now that is routine. All the people at home that have watched a few pop flies hit the ground here and there, come out here and catch one. Because it is not as easy as just a pop fly that's 200 feet in the air. I'm Josh Kirsten here with Joey Cap, Nitro Circus. Joey, this is your uh, this is your second, technically your second major. Technically, last yeah. year was your first one. Yeah, yep. Bay Area. I you got, got an a chance to, to play up. Did a great job. Thank you. Um, you got to, I mean, this year you've been playing with Nitro Circus all year long, and you know they were fortunate enough to make the Major World Series qualify. And um, as tonight also steps up, what is what's been your experience from uh, from last year this year? It's different. Um, Playing, having played B and local and the travel and the coordination of everything and you know maintaining regular life and softball life, it, it, it's just different. Yeah. And the pitching up here is a lot, a lot different. I've been fortunate to kind of just swing hard and hope good things happen, and, and they have for most of the year. I think my biggest learning is uh, walks are really important. Um, Tonight, Austin swings on at the, at the pitch, puts it in right field in front of Jeremy Yates. He's going to hold up at first base. With the more walk in one tournament than I had all year. <laughs> so it's like, at that, yep. I, I, if I have just a smidge of that. Aaron Stidham swings on at the first pitch, oh, wow. lifts it out to left field. Tyler Story, Tyler Story going back, running out of room. That ball's gone. That's a big one. We have our first home run of the game. Um, if, if I can just have a better eye next year, I think I'll be a lot in a better place. Not only for you know personally but help the team um and i think that's my biggest learning is you know everybody up here can hit and everybody up here is really good so in b it was you know i had to go hard and yeah. it's got to go back side go back side at the shortstop <clears throat> let's see that throw gets the outer first i that one's tough interesting too because playing a double a like the hardcores you it, spinning them's tough because they they knuckle so if you just hit it hard it'll go these you can spin but the wind isn't going to do because they're so light the wind is going to just take it unless you hit it square right. so i think you're almost better trying to just cut it through something as an outfielder you're running back to the wall mm -hmm. what is the communication you like to hear yeah so i don't i don't mind what anyone is saying just as, as long as they're not like abruptly fence i hate it <laughs> it's like, i flinch give me give me a warning and i'm listening right you're getting close something whatever it is the communication that we discussed before the season or before the tournament what have you you can't catch home runs it's no, just doesn't happen but you've got to catch the ball as you can and one i lost the I lost his battle the game last night did you i had them scoring 35 runs and they scored 16, 15 16, 16, 16 something. i gotta buy my man clifton dinner today where are you gonna take him I'm hoping he wants to go to McDonald's for a kidney or something, man. Times are tight, you know? <laughs> Struggling out here. The Wawa. Been here for two weeks. <laughs> it's that ball out in the right field. House been dragging that one. Oh, coming. Oh, 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 hot route. Oh. Hot route. Wind. Rerouting. Rerouting. That's like when you pull out of you pull out of the parking lot and you take the wrong turn because Google Maps isn't really figuring out which but way you're pointing. Look, I get guys back home and ask me all the time, oh, how do you get to the major level? How do you get to work, play in the conference? And everybody's like, oh, it's who you know. It's your buddy. You know, it's this and that. It's, it's not. It's can you hustle? Yep. Can you do the little things? Can you base hit it with two outs and no home runs left? You know, can you hit the home run when it matters? Just your trip personnel coming in. A little different than your league night is after every game at the major, they retest your team's bats. So he just came and informed me of what we had passed, what we had fail. It's just, it's nice to know they're trying to keep the game clean. Austin Mapes. Here comes Austin Mapes. First pitch swing and high in the center field. Tail him back, but Briggsy's underneath it for the first out. That's what we call bad course management. If he pulls that a little bit, it's probably way out of here, but dead center, you gotta be a different animal to go there. Right. Strategizing, right? That is exactly what I'm doing, is okay. thinking about who we want to beat us late, who do we not want to beat us late. Um, you know, I've always been really lucky. I will say this on the umpires, though. We have had, I've had a really good experience for the most part with the umpires down here this whole week, and I, I think it's been one of the best that I can remember on that front. 
I don't even really remember getting that upset at any point. Um, <laughs> Other than at Robbie Fowl. Well, <laughs> that's a that's almost an hourly thing. So, <laughs> the bottom. Absolutely. Smash is going to call timeout and have a discussion about it. Um, but I have some rules that I that I play by. I don't like to call it after home runs normally, okay. and I almost never will call a timeout after an out. You know, unless there's just a very specific yep. person that I want to call timeout on. There's something wrong with Kesky's shoelaces. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> why they always happen to be untied but it just you know it turns out that those things are just like in whatever the worst um possible moment for the other side is that thing is going to be and i mean it's a safety issue he has to take the time to time well back to mooch though yeah he he just never stops working it doesn't matter what the score is what the inning is he's he's gonna he's gonna do his work he's gonna try to throw you off get you just a split second late or early and he's done it for years i mean what did they say that was his fifth double a title wow this week that kind of hang time yeah people will wonder what you're talking about because if they show the flags that are in, on the flag poles in left center it look like they're dead but mm -hmm. there's another set of flags up top and that's where you can really see what the wind's doing above Andrew Collins with a nice piece out into left field lose Jojo up to two that's it we got runners on first and second and that's the thing I mean hey listen we all sit at home we all watch the stadium feed we all watch these games and you see these flags and it's like what? how are these balls moving there's really nothing but it is it's once you have actually gone up to the top of those bleachers as soon as you get over top of that roof man you feel it oh absolutely it changes the game too because you know it might not affect the pitching down there but as soon as you get that high fly ball you'll see some of them take off and some of them hold up on don walsh leading off here in the bottom half of the second inning mooch delivers the don rolls that one over to three loving the double hop here from roof x Hey, wet, wet turf. Just uh, use the turf to begin with. They're playing the wet turf. Mm -hmm. they've, they've played on it plenty of times. They're playing it now. They're just spiking it and letting it do do its thing, picking up speed on the way across. I'm not going to lie to you. When I agreed to do this, I thought we were going to be in the AC. It is not cool up here. DW tricked you. Yeah, yeah, he got me. I wasn't ready to start my weight loss journey, but I guess we, uh, we kick-started it today. Pantene Pro V-Man right here. Oh, nice piece. Look at that. Just easy hit right through the 6'10". And he's taking that hat off, and he's letting that Pro V shine. Come on out. Look at that. Beautiful. You, you really got to make sure you got the volume on the hair. I asked him earlier. I said, is, is that Per Plus or Pantene Pro V? I said, it looks like Pantene Pro V, and he smiled. So we're going to go with it. Hold on, hair products. Big John Williams coming to plate. Nobody on here. Two down, bottom four. Mooch delivers. Uh oh, big John Williams sending that one back to Ohio. Oh, get the Don a table for three. That ball's hit deep out in the left for a three run shot. And MPT has their first lead of the evening 22 to 21 with two. JoJo. JoJo squares that one up out in the left field at the REMAX sign. That one's off the REMAX sign. Marcus Miller thinks he's on a slip and slide out there. JoJo Bennett coming in for a nice little stand-up triple. No. That's going to be the first out of the inning. Oh, somebody call Mike Cornell. We're going to need a new pair of batting gloves in the Sunny's dugout. What do you think, extra large? We know you're wearing red. Austin Dahl oh. swings on, lifts it out to left. It's high, it's deep. He'll need a rocket up his butt to catch that one. That ball is gone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to work my way away from him. Drives it up the middle. Oh, Heath Barnes stays with it, makes a strong throw across the diamond, gets him out at first. That wet turf. Did you see what he did though? He used the turf to get it across the infield. He did. Yeah. Ball skipping. A lot of people don't realize it. The turf is your friend in that situation. Yeah. That's a cookie. Over the leaping Angel Ortega in the middle. Inside pitch, he wanted it, fouled it off. He's getting rid of the ball. Sometimes these guys see a ball that's been hit hard, and then they foul it off to get a better ball, or what they think will be a better ball. Question in the chat, what do I think about the new podcast guy announcing? That's j Row on the Bring It podcast. Great job, great energy. Kind of hard to sit in here and do a game this morning, knowing that j Row is going to bring it. Ira Brown, you can see on that side view, your back foot has to be even with a part of home plate. And then you can stride forward as far as you want and not be out of the box. You should all sign a petition to have only two mound visits a game. 
course, the Major World Series uses bat bucket testing, 240 compression, and they retest the bats after each game. Being delivers. KJ living backside there, going out into right field. Hard out the box, looking and going in two. That's what hustle can do for you. Oh, you got everybody congregating underneath the awnings. Look at that umbrella. That's a veteran fan right there. Bringing a beach umbrella to the ballpark. Playing around, heading back. Tries yanking it. We got Billy Buckner right through the wickets like we're playing croquet. You know, that kind of looked like a black hole. And you know, that's something I'm surprised we've never really run into as kids. You know, on, watching Come cartoons on, growing up. You ever get encountered quicksand? No, I haven't. Like, it, when I was growing up, you, you have all these cartoons where quicksand's all the time. And I've never seen quicksand as we're... If I walk into a restaurant or a bar and I see Donkey Kong, I'm putting a quarter in there. Or NBA Jam. Oh, William, William Wright coming to the plate. I was a get extra every day. <laughs> Ooh, William Wright heading deep out into left. Got it. Just like the Wright brothers' first flight, he sends that one flying out into left field for a big time shot. Trev, any uh, any notes on the weekend? Weather, ball. Uh, I mean, umpires didn't seem to do a great job. Ball seems to be pretty good. Ball's good enough. Yep. Uh, I was kind of surprised that it seemed like the hardcore flew better last week than the ball this week mm -hmm. but uh, listen I'm not complaining about the ball at all no, I no, think right. this ball is plenty I feel um, like the, the condition is a little different too weather wise than last week yeah it probably weather. is I wasn't here yeah I, I wish I could have been here I watched all of it on the live stream and it was awesome yeah. the first game we played yesterday I think it was like the 1230 game or whatever I've never felt the wind in this stadium blow like that is the weirdest thing yep and then last night like you said it just kind of laid down and uh, we had some guys get on the barrel pretty good yeah, you guys weren't missing very so much. So worked out. Well. Speaking of peeling legs, Trav, so do you have, as a pitcher, do you have, uh, you got mental notes of guys that you've got to kind of keep an eye on? Uh, I mean, you keep an eye on everybody okay. because if you don't, you're going to wear it, yep. and then it's really going to suck. I mean, the first time you don't think you're going to get hit, you can bet you're going to get hit. Off the, yeah. off the face mask the other yep. night. It's underestimated. Chemistry just kind of like people kind of forget. Man, if I just put the best talent on the team, then we're going to win. That's not the case. It's definitely not always the case. There's some guys that have no problem playing with guys that they absolutely hate. Right. And there's some guys who just can't get past that. Yeah. Obviously, everybody wants to play with guys you like. But at some point, you're probably going to play with somebody you don't care for. Sure, especially if you play long enough, right? Absolutely. Still, I mean, that's it's because I think the more you, the more polished of a hitter you become, the more your mindset changes, and it's you're not worried about what if I miss, mm -hmm. because you just don't plan on missing, mm -hmm. right? Some guys are like, oh, I got to hit it here just in case I miss. Just don't miss. Right. Yeah. Don't miss. Shouldn't even be thinking about it, right. A huge task. Levi swings on, hits it hard at Dan Heron. Shortstop yeah. makes a real nice play. Good throw across the diamond for the first out. It's impressive how quick some of these guys get rid of the ball. They might not have the greatest arms, yep. but it's bang, bang, see you later. Well, and, and, and to that point, too, they're using the turf well. Correct. Right? So they get rid of the ball quickly, and they use the turf to get it over there accurately. You a big blue crab guy? No. Um, when I want to eat, I want to eat. I don't want to play with my favorite man. Yeah, we've got Nitro Circus versus Sports Reach. Sports Reach is the visiting team. They are the lower seed, so here at the Men's Major World Series, the higher seed is automatically the home team. Rymac. Gets rung up like a dirty pair of laundry. And when and when I started coming up, I tried to you know mirror somewhat close to you. I've not since made a, an adjustment back in the box, but not as far as some of these guys are. They're darn close to like yeah. the white of the box. And honestly, like it's it's not particularly that I like to catch the ball at my chest. It's more to open up an angle if I decide to go backside, because yeah. you have more of an angle to hit the line that way. Yeah. And me being a shorter guy. You know, I don't have the reach to still go out and get, if I'm back in the box, right. to hit that line, so. Drives this one to oh, center, nice. left center. That's going to get down in front of Corey Briggs. He's going to come up with it, get in as quick as he can. Mark Whip was hustling around the base. See what he does. Oh, oh, there it is. Gives his passion <laughs> celebration. If you look real closely, very far where that car's going, that's where Bradley Jones hit his ball. <laughs> he said, you know, we can even hear you down the field sometimes. I really hope Ryan Ramirez didn't hear me, however, I have a feeling. You're not one that can be seen without being heard. 
And I can promise you from all the way out there where that umpire standing, they can hear you. <laughs> you ever seen you ever seen a giraffe on ice? I for those of you that aren't as familiar with maybe upper level softball or don't get to watch classic glass very much, no Blake Lively. This Blake Lively is not married to Ryan Reynolds. Uh, my first major I got they called time on me a whole lot. Um, the uh, thing that I would always just say to myself is uh, you can't ice stupid. Pumping. Gets Honeycutt to go out to left field, and Honeycutt, oh, just past the Space Coast sign. Out left going with a little oppo taco for 6-4 ball game now. Rob, you've uh, you've played this game almost longer than I've been alive. Uh, <laughs> what's, what is Classic Glass going to have to do to, to pull out a win here against a, a pretty loaded MPT major team. Yeah, they're going to have to do just like they did a couple weeks ago in Indianapolis is just keep hacking at it and you know, base hit and, you know, not try to fall into that power game and just play their game. With the wind, Brady pulls it hard to left. That's going to get down for a base hit in front of JoJo. He's hustling around, going to take second base, and he's in there. Got to love that. Hustle double. I mean, it's a guy hitting behind someone who, I mean, that's, that's huge. Keeps you out of the double play, like... In your, in your experience there, I mean, how much of a weight is lifted off your shoulders when you don't have to worry about a guy in first Oh, there? for sure. It opens the diamond up. Uh, you can use the middle of the field, and you can go at uh, all angles, you know, and go with the pitch. For Absolutely. Sure. Yep. You got you to gotta weather the storm a lot of times. To catch the balls that are hit at them and, you know, take the outs they give them. Yep. You know, one thing you touched on just a second ago was umpires. These umpires are doing a phenomenal, phenomenal. job, very Absolutely. consistent. And, you know, I had a, a talk with Doc yesterday, you know, talking about how lucky I was in that time that I got to play in the conference um, and be around all these guys mm -hmm. at, at that level. And, you know, it was consistency was the biggest thing that uh, that we had. We knew what we were getting and all the, all, of the, all of everything was about the same every game. And, you know, you could trust standing there as a hitter, mm -hmm. you know, what you could, you know, take and not take. And, you know, you'd, you'd get one every once in a while, but, you know, the, they, were, uh, they were great and it, it allowed us to, uh, you know, stand up there with confidence. And Ryan Harvey elevates that one deep, deep out into left field. Trying to take down those trees. Donnie Walsh. Donnie Walsh, the Don. Open up a bottle of Chianti and sends that one for a transatlantic flight. Well, especially with speed like Heath. Oh, that's a nice piece. And Marcus Miller. Ooh, nice catch. Well, that kid's been. He's got a love affair with that wall. <laughs> Oh, I tell you, well, he's hoping that wall buys him some flowers after this week. <laughs> when you have mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Ryan is uh, is no stranger to the Major World Series, and neither is Mooch. Mooch has been around longer than I've almost been alive. So <laughs> it's uh, it's just, yeah, you've got that type of leadership that they added to an already gritty, grindy team, and uh, it's it's paid off in dividends here, as you can see, with a double-A world championship, and now they're playing to get into the championship game of the Major World Series. It's crazy, too, because um, in, in 2020, we had a double an MPT double-A team in the, in the Major World Series Championship. In 2022, last year, we had a double-A team in the Major World Series Championship. So in recent years' history and in, in past, we've, it's, it's not uncommon for a double-A team to be there. Situational BP hitting. So don't just go out and hit BP just to just hit balls. I mean, you, do you know a normal pitcher, though? Like, no, they're all you, little screws. They're like goaltenders in hockey, yes. right? You've yeah. got to have some screws loose to do. <laughs> defense you know mm -hmm. you want to improve your defense you want to grow there how are you doing that you know how are you going to improve your defense <sighs> defense is tough like that i think improving defense comes to, gets down to game reps mm -hmm. and so a lot of young guys in the conference and, and if you have if you're good if you're good defensively in baseball i think that carry that transitions and carries over really really well to softball hey i mean listen that's if you're resi you answered. Mm -hmm. If you're Sonny's, they didn't score 21. <laughs> Mark Wick shimmying on into the box. And he's Ooh. not going to be the one. Deep out into right off the building. Off of Yates' yard house. <laughs> You know, I, I thought I'd get tired of the home runs at some point. No. Nah, it's not happening. It's because the energy that, that, that both mm -hmm. teams bring into it, right? Like, it's just it's just on another level. Well, now, We've got a lot of ball games still to play here, so anything can happen. But you might, I mean, if you're Sonny's, it might have been a mistake to take home team. Ooh. Ugly bouncers. They're, they're, listen, 
it's okay to you it's definitely okay to use the turf to your advantage and for, to make an accurate throw but what's happening and we've seen this twice now that one still worked out but there's, there's too many bounces one bounce one big bounce one big bounce two max i wouldn't start <laughs> spiking these things just to get it over there like he's gonna wake up he's moving give him a little heads up that bradley jones is at the plate because there's another ball coming 13 nothing although last time he did go right center Oh. Dead center. Dead center. Jeez. Bradley Jones almost hit the car wash. You know, it's you know, it's my first time down here at the conference World Series, and uh, you know, you were saying about sending other people down here. I had my co-host on our podcast. He played the season. Was down here around last year. And I said you have to get down here because you'd love it. I didn't think I'd be on the mic. But right. Yeah. This is such a different experience watching these players live instead of on the stream. Well, even if you get a chance to go to a conference event, three to nine, thirty-four to nine. Oh, and Bradley Jones, you don't have to worry about communicating anybody to anybody except for maybe the FAA. That ball is just hammered out into left over the light tower. Welcome back as I don't think he has an engineering degree, but he's trying to make it look like he does. But yeah, he, I mean, this this game, the last oh, 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 the beer oh, wall the beer fan, the beer wall is gone. News. Breaking Somebody news. threw something. Do we have a, can we get a, we, oh no, what happened? Oh, I think we got the culprit sneaking away right here. Oh no. Right across the plaque. Oh my goodness, boo this woman. <laughs> Rezzy's not happy about it. Look at their dugouts distraught oh, right now. Oh my gosh. Oh.